A couple of years ago, I was uh, really, really short of breath. I couldn't walk and talk to somebody standing next to me at the same time. I could walk and breathe or talk and breathe, but I couldn't do all, all that together. When I started, I really was still having a lot of trouble breathing, very short of breath. After walking, I'd have to stop every few minutes. They were saying it was asthma in the beginning. Um, and I was just taking the inhalers, and then it just progressively got worse and worse. And it turned out that I got COPD. Some weeks I was champion, some weeks I wasn't. In the last five years, I've struggled. Really struggled. Maybe it's longer than that, maybe it's seven, eight years. Then everything was an effort. I think you just feel as though your, your general uh, malaise is in increasing all the time, that you're you know, if you're not doing something in a general way to keep yourself fit. But I think also I used to feel that my chest cavity was tight, tightening up and closing and closing in on me. I'm not into fitness. I'm not at all. I mean, the, the last thing, Asda, when I, when I used to go to Asda and take my tripod thing, she used to get us a chair and she'd say, just wait there, I'll fetch it there for you. Because I just couldn't breathe. So, I mean, even the staff in Asda knew. I got this breathing test and then she said, well, we've got a course going, which is designed to improve your lungs, which wouldn't help you to manage normal day-to-day -day use. So they're really simple exercises and um, they do work the muscles. They gave me a pretty well a one-to-one -one training session at each of these sessions. They control the amount of physical exercise that the person does in, in the course, which is absolutely what you want. We have about oh, five or six different exercises. So it was on the individual to do all these exercises. Not necessarily having to push them, just nice and gentle, build up the stamina. And uh, that's really basically what it's about. They're absolutely brilliant. For motivation, they don't press you, just do what you want to do, but they try and push you to do it a little bit more gently. The exercises are, they're designed to strengthen the intercostal muscles, the muscles between your ribs, and also the quadriceps muscles, the big muscles in the legs. And until I came here, nobody had explained that to me. So none of the doctors I saw during my illness explained why I was so breathless. And just knowing that, was a tremendous help to me because it, it helps you not feel so hopeless. I really enjoyed it. Quite, quite a fairly quick time I started to feel as though I was, I was actually able to do more than I, I could before I started doing it. And I started the brain rehab and I certainly felt improved. But I, I, I'm motivated now I want to go and do things. And I felt, I felt quite good about it to be honest, you know. Because WCC is the fittest line in the shop. <laughs> the trainers are fantastic. They're not just really friendly, but they're so non judgmental. You don't feel like you have to be embarrassed about your lack of fitness. Everybody's sort of in the same boat, and we're given so much kindness and compassionate encouragement that it's really, it's really great. There's no, there's no competition here. Everybody's just doing their best and we're encouraged to do what we can and also not to overdo it. It's not boot camp <laughs> by any means. It's discovering that you can do more than you thought. It's amazing. And I mean, I can go in and out all the shops up there now where I couldn't before, but I go to Happy Lap and all over the place now. The main thing was to get, to get the, the chest feeling better. I think it was almost immediate, almost immediate, that I was able to do more with, with uh, especially with breathing and, and that sort of thing. I think everybody on that class got some improvement. Everybody. The six people that were still meet up, this is the best thing they've done. At first I hadn't thought about it being involved with me bowling at the end, because I was doing it before. And, but, as I improved and I was starting to breathe better, I was starting to enjoy it. And I'm playing better, would you believe? And I beat the 
the club champion. I would say if you've got the offer to go, go. It gives you something to look forward to. It gives you a laugh. And it really gives you a reason. But it's the, the meeting people, the being with people, instead of being stuck in the house on your own. I want to do things now. Even to put the dog in the car and drive down the coast and walk along the, the front. That's lovely. And I think the fresh air and the sea air, you know, makes you feel good. My greatest hope, I have a 13-year-old granddaughter and I was so frightened that I was going to lose that ability to, to just be out on the beach with my family. And now I know that that's you know, not going to happen. I'm going to be able to enjoy being on the beach for years to come, I hope, and uh, really looking forward to it. Pulmonary rehabilitation is a therapy for people with long-term lung conditions. Ask your doctor or nurse about referring you to a local pulmonary rehabilitation program. For more information, visit the British Lung Foundation website at blf.org.uk or call 03000 030 555.